Hi, it's Steve from Park Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the injector valve on your washer. It's a pretty easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a 3 8 socket with an extension, and this W Phillips screwdriver. Let me show you how it's done. Now the first step in this repair will be to disconnect the appliance from the power supply. Simply pull the plug from the receptacle and we're ready to start. Next we need to remove the front panel using our stubby Phillips screwdriver. There's two screws located about an inch in from either side, just under that lip in the front panel. Just going to grasp the front panel by the sides, pull it forward at the bottom, and then we'll let it hinge down from the top. You can see there's two spring clips that hold it to the top panel. We'll set that aside. Now with our 3 8 ratchet, we'll locate two bolts so that it will just inside the front panel, one on each side. Now with the two retaining bolts removed, we're next going to raise the whole top, make sure that the lid is held closed. And if your model has a bleach dispenser on it, we'll need to pull that hose off. Just tilt the whole top backwards on its hinges, lower the lid until it's in a safe position. And now we have access to the injector assembly. Now there is a clamp that holds that hose to the valve assembly, the quarter inch hex head screw. I'll loosen that screw part way and then we'll push in on it. If the clamp is really rusty, you may need to replace that. So you can pick one of those up at a local hardware store or through your appliance parts distributor. the hose removed, you can remove the valve assembly. There's a nozzle inside of that rubber valve. So we peel the rubber valve off of it and remove it. Now normally it's a good idea to replace both of these pieces at the same time. Typically this hose will shrink up, be a little stiff, cause a leak. 
the nozzle itself will wear a bit with water flow through it and again cause a leak. Simply slide the new valve over the nozzle. There's a flange on the end of it. Make sure that's wrapped around the nozzle and held in place. Wet the edge of that a little bit. Insert it back into the hose, making sure it doesn't fold over. Slide that completely into the valve assembly. Retighten the clamp. Now that we've secured the clamp, we're ready to put the top down. Most importantly, we want to make sure that we put the hose back on the bleach nozzle. Now we're ready to put the two 3 8 bolts back into the top cover. Before we tighten the first one, we'll insert the second one to make sure that it lines up properly. Again, check that bleach hose, make sure it hasn't got knocked loose. We're ready to put the front panel on. We'll insert the top edge first, the panel tilted out at an angle, and with upward pressure on the top, we'll swing it into place. Now we'll install the two screws. They go upwards at an angle. and our repair is complete. That's how easy it is to change the injector valve on your washer. Thanks for watching.
good luck with your repair.